Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews. That 40 ish and under dollar range. Most of these are way less than that. And a good number of these you can find at your local rack stores. And the one I got for you guys here today is one that I found at my local Burlington. And 95% of the time, you're going to find something from this particular house at your local rack stores because. It's one of the, the super common ones. They just pop up like Tommy Bahamas. You know, they're always there. Like one of them are typically there. And today I wanna talk about Banana Republic's Grassland. Ignore the thumb. I wanna focus. And maybe it doesn't like my thumb. There we go. So this as the name implies, this is a very green fragrance. I love the color of this bottle. I think that's an awesome color. You can see the juice through it. I don't know if it shows up too well in there, but you can see the juice level through that. The atomizer cap, it actually clicks really nice into place. I mean, it's a snug fit. It's metal, nice and heavy. The atomizer itself doesn't squirt out a lot, but squirts out a pretty fine mist. It seems like these Banana Republics have a decent atomizer. Even though this doesn't squirt out much, it's, it's almost like it's fitting for this little tiny bottle. I don't know if the three or the 2.5 or whatever the bigger ones are, I don't know if it's any better, but it kind of is on my others. They're not all the same from what I've noticed. They, they differ a little bit, but anyhow, this as the name would imply is a very grassy fragrance. And I see a lot of people comparing this to green Irish tweed. And I guess that is what this is the most similar to. When you spray this, you won't immediately think, oh, this is a green Irish tweed clone, but it bears a lot of similarities to that. This is almost like a more gym appropriate, more relaxing version of that, if you will. It's tart citrus, a lot of tart citrus, bergamot, um, pomelo. There's the green apple note in here, which is also a really tart green Granny Smith apple, like the kind of when you bite into it and you feel that thing behind your ears kind of like contract or something. It's got that, but it's not like a sharp fragrance, but it has that note in here. I think the lavender that's in this kind of um, smooths things over in that department in the sandalwood there's a little bit of sandalwood and geranium so there's that there's that soft undertone of this thing there's that slightly creaminess the ambroxan or the ambergy that they have listed in here um and the ozonic notes ozonic to me from fragrances that i've seen i don't know what that smells like particularly but they all tend to have this very airy breezy kind of a smell and this has that so with the green irish tweed thing this thing will smell most like that it's like 65 percent similar maybe almost 70 percent similar so it's not a clone but it, it does have a lot of similarities to it and it's like the first half of this thing that has that that fresh green green grass green irish tweed has more of the green cut grass like when you run over it with a lawnmower it has more of that going on whereas this is more of a just a straight up grassy smell and um it's fresh spicy it's got a decent amount of fresh spiciness to it so that grassy, fresh, spicy, aromatic thing this has going on. First half of it is when it's gonna smell most like green Irish tweed. After that, it starts completely becoming its own thing and the fresh spiciness comes out a little bit more and um, it almost takes on a little bit of a woodiness to it. I think there might be vetiver in here, I can't remember, but it almost has a little bit of a woodiness to it as well in the dry down. But that's when it's not really pumping off you anymore, but you will detect it in your scent bubble just a little bit. So the dry down, I actually like better on this thing. I like it significantly better. The opening is quite nice, but the dry down is even nicer. So I love when a fragrance does that, when I like the way that it smells in the opening and then later on it's like, man, this thing really is nice smelling. Um, so you're never like left disappointed in it, right? I do that all the time. <clears throat> so overall, springtime, daytime, casual, leisure type of a wear. I mean, you could get away with this at like a, a business event. It's a good office fragrance, there's no doubt about that. Like in the hottest days of summer and stuff like that, and you kind of want to bring that summer vibe to the office, this one's going to be a good one for that. Um, I've put this thing through the ringer. You can see the juice that I've, it's only a one ounce bottle, granted, but I have wore this thing many times. I've, you know, done my five mile run and stuff with it, and it's, it's a good gym fragrance because it's not real loud. That's one thing, it's not a, a, a 
far projecting fragrance. The performance isn't terrible. It's not like good. It's not even quite average, but it's not too bad. It's almost at that average five hours, it's more like a four hour fragrance. Um, but it is a compliment, a little bit kind of a compliment type of a fragrance. It's bright, it's easy, it's uplifting, it's fresh, green, aromatic, fresh, spicy. And um, like I said, the performance more like a four hour fragrance, a little bit reeled in as far as the projection, daytime, leisurable, casual, summertime, springtime kind of a fragrance. Um, anybody could enjoy this thing. I wouldn't say it's more masculine or more mature, more youthful. I think it's just across the board, easy to like. Overall, I give it a five and a half out of 10. It's nothing incredibly special. Um, but it is nice. It is a nice smelling fragrance. It's a little bit nicer than average. And if you're looking for a good um, springtime fragrance, something that's going to start off your day nice and invigorate you a little bit, this might be a good one to look at, especially if you don't have anything that's in that like cool water, green Irish tweed type of a thing. I like this better than cool water, to be honest, for like the same price. I think that this is a better option, especially now with the reformulations. Just go with this one. Um, is it just gonna last longer and I think the quality is definitely better on this again It doesn't smell just like cool water or green Irish tweed, but it's in that same box. It has that fresh green grass Spicy kind of a thing going on super uplifting Invigorating nice smelling fragrance Slightly under average as far as the performance projection longevity and all that five and a half out of ten So for what it is, it's a nice fragrance. I found this one for like ten bucks. It's a little one ounce bottle So that's a winner, you know, you see it for ten bucks Might as well roll the dice on it if you like green fragrances If you don't like green fragrances stay away from it because this one is green through and through so there's that And that's my final thoughts on banana republic's grassland with that. I'm out. Y'all be blessed Take care of yourself always and until next time